Yeah, I'm Jason Yeagle. I live in San Francisco, California with my lovely wife and two daughters. I've been living here for 25 years. I grew up in Boston, Massachusetts. And I'm a painter. Well, my mom has a story where she says the first drawing that she remembers me doing a figure with another figure or character with another character inside it. And she asked me what it was and I said it was a man thinking about himself. I I really don't know how intimately she is connected to the mythology I have in my work currently. I'm sure she's aware that I'm an artist who's introspective. I'd rather have something that that investigated an idea or, or interrogated an idea or cast in a second opinion to something as a way to point in multiple directions at once. I would rather have an experience where I'm inspired by something that's not directly related to my field and that indirectness requires me or invites me to make something up, to make up the space between. I was thinking about the other day because here I am, this is my second mural in San Francisco. painted out the inside of plenty of galleries, or at least a handful, but this is my second mural that's out in the public. And So I thought about it and I thought, you know, what I'm doing is public art. It's not street art. I'm not a street artist, I know that. This, the world that I painted is a cartoon world. And it's part of a public art style that has emerged within my work. The thing that I wanted to kind of represent was something that had some sort of power, some kind of story that regarded the families that live in the neighborhood and that raw, unmitigated experience of life. And there's something nice about belonging in a city. I grew up in Boston which in a lot of ways isn't dissimilar from San Francisco. Just this thing of being a kid growing up in in an urban place where you were traversing the city by yourself. There's something potentially, you know, maybe a little bit dangerous about the city, but at the same time, it kind of has you in its embrace. So within my work, I've always found myself representing these kind of urban spaces as well. I'm definitely pretty proud to have my work out in the public because I tend to be, I've tended to be that kind of person who, you know, I I relate, I think most to like a comic book artist, which their work is for publication more than exhibition. And I don't come from any kind of graffiti tradition. I want to make things that to people that are more democratic maybe than my own work in my studio which can be super duper idiosyncratic. So cartoons are kind of quite lovely in that regard where they can function like typography and we can read them instinctively. It doesn't take a lot of effort to read them. I've got these two characters in it, two sort of young female characters and in some way they're definitely related to my nine-year-old and 12-year-old daughters. And one is sort of focused outwardly with a sword, and one is focused inwardly reading a book. That in a way, all of the characters within the mural could represent different aspects of a person's persona. There's the inward person who's reading, there's the outward person who's raising up this shining sword. There's the animal protectorate, in such a way to create female characters that, that, that represent, you know, let's say youth or, or some, kind of, some kind of genuine spark that's connected to the real world, uh, which I think is you know, a pretty important component for anybody creating stories. It's, certainly for me is to always be looking out for things in the world around me that I can mythologize within my work in such a way that it resonates as something true.